Big Z Reviews. The Peripheral is a new science fiction uh, series that just finished uh, its first season on uh, Amazon Prime Video. And I enjoyed it. It's definitely, it's, there's a lot going on, but it is, it is an interesting show. This is London. But London's 70 years from what you think of as the present. It's like being there, in your body. You're inside the peripheral. There's a large cast of characters, but the main character you follow is uh, Chloe Grace Moretz as uh, Flynn Fisher, and uh, her brother Jack Rayner, uh, Burton Fisher. And um, there's also like uh, Gary Carr as Wilf Netherton in the future, and Eli Gorey as uh, Connor Pemsky, as like one of a wounded veteran that was served with her brother, along with a other bunch of people in the far future and in the near future. And I think that's the thing. Like I, at one point, I do really appreciate the um, the time travel aspect that they tackled here. Because, like, one thing that really annoys me is when they do time travel and they really screw up the idea of it. And it makes it so that I can't believe it. So this is kind of interesting where people in the future figured out a way how to, like, send messages into the past. And, but the thing is, when they did that, they created a stub universe. Because essentially, because... Because they they contacted the past, now and that that universe is a separate universe because it, it, it changed things, so it cannot lead to their, the universe that they are in. So as they call it a stub, and like, but they, the thing is that like if they send them future tech because I guess it's like a decade in the future or something like that, and like three D printing has increased so that they can like um, send them like files to print something and this maybe sends sends their their mind into a robot body in the future you know so like a peripheral body that's what the peripheral and like Chloe Grace Moretz like she is kind of like she's like down on her luck and but she's like um she she's a really good the gamer like especially in like virtual reality and her brother kind of like is is like um doing a thing because he was uh you know a soldier but he'll like he'll help he he's like a rent a friend in the vr games where like if they need they need someone to help them get past a tough mission they can rent they can like rent his services and like she takes over for him and he says hey you know i got this ever other offer for a job that has sent a special headset over if you want to do it like i'm not kind of busy right now so then she goes in and it's like things it's like very real, like not normal. This isn't normal, and this right away it really catches you. Like, like especially the first couple episodes, they're excellent. But at the same time, like I stopped watching it just because the in the middle of the season it gets a little long winded, and then too it's kind of annoying. Like you have to wait wait week by week, and this kind of show there's like so much going on. Like I think, okay, what's going on here? What what what's what's all this about now? So instead, like, I kind of, um, like, par way, like, three episodes into the season, I stopped watching it, and then, like, waited until all the episodes were out, and then binged the last episode in a couple of, a couple of nights. And I, I think, I, I liked it more like that, but at the same time, they still, like, they really hammer you with world building and stuff, and it's just, like, there's so much going on, like, you find out that, okay, yeah, they were soldiers, and they have, they have, like, like they sent back future tech to them to increase their their progress progress progression in this timeline, and like so his uh, Jack Rayner like his um, his group of soldiers have like implants and stuff, and but they but then they feel that they're the the Texas War, and I'm like wait Texas War, and they don't have time to go into how Texas succeeded from the Union. And there was like a, gi- a giant war between them, like it was like, and they were part of it. And it's like, like I w- can I uh, can I hear more about that? You know. But then the, the, the future, there's like so much going on in the future too. And 
each time they introduce more and more stuff about the future, then it's like, oh, you thought like you, they, you thought that was actually this other stuff going on, and that's all an illusion. And it's also like it's like it keeps like building and that like, it keeps more and more confusing, more and more like shenanigans. Then it's at a certain point, it's just like I, I feel like they it could have been tighter. Like if it would not have worried about having so many stuff going on, it would be easier to follow and better to enjoy as a show. You know, I think I think this is based on the book, and maybe as a book it would work better. But as a show, there's just so much going on, like you just lose track of it. Especially because the Chloe Grace Moretz is great, and as she's like your character into the future, but like you just you kind of lose it with everything else going on. And, like, people that aren't that interesting in the future are are weird. But at the same time, I did still enjoy this show. You know, I was there for it, and I will be there when season two drops. I'll watch it again. But, um, I I didn't love it, you know? It just, it, it could, it could have been a lot tighter, I feel. But still, it was interesting, and it has a lot of interesting stuff going on in it. So, probably give, like, a 7.75 out of 10. And uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more and more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.